Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we are going to be unboxing. I finally got my Kickstarter in from Lady Death Demonic Omens and I got like one of the big packs. Uh, so we've got a ton of stuff from that to look at. And there's a mystery envelope involved. So we're going to see which mystery comic book we got. Hopefully none of it's too racy and I can actually show it all on here. Also, I might just have to edit certain parts out. Um, other than that, I wanted to show you guys some uh, new pickups I've got. And then something else I got in the mail that was actually delivered here from my buddy. And he had to have some stuff delivered here, here and there. So uh show you that. And then we will get to opening up that box. I'm super excited. Okay, so as far as some of my newer pickups I got here, I got, just picked up this Green Lantern issue. Uh, it's pretty sweet, number 65 from the 60s. Old Hal Jordan there. I just picked up this um, uh, comic on eBay. It's a glow-in-the-dark Green Lantern symbol comic. There's my Blackest Nights, and I got a few more in the mail. Not the Blackest Night, but these ones I got more recently in the mail, as well as these bad boys down here. to kind of add to my... Uh, ever-growing Green Lantern collection. I kind of recently uh, redid my shelf here. Kind of the X-Men kind of got moved down a, a scotch. Got the Dragon Balls down here. I'm, I'm trying to put all my Siths together that I have in the Black Series. It's kind of the only Black Series I plan on keeping. It's all my dif different Siths. I actually did find these guys with the orange sabers because um, for some reason some of them come out with the red sabers and these ones have the orange sabers which is more appropriate because that's what they had in the show which is pretty sweet and then of course we got a uh, pre Vizsla he's just kind of in there chilling with his homies uh, Darth Nihilus back there and then we got Starkiller back here hanging out with the uh, Hobgoblin first appearance um, I don't know if I've updated lately on my lantern setup here I put the parallax up of course I got my first appearances actually I probably didn't show you guys these cases uh, more recently but let's check out this uh fun school uh gi joe that my buddy picked up online somewhere that's pretty fun i think this was a uh, flint from russia from fun school i'm not sure where he bought it from but uh got some other stuff stuck to it here um but yeah see so we got some russian writing all on here da can't understand it but still pretty cool to see um and then I picked up some of these, some of the Flash issues that have Green Lantern. Because for a while they stopped the Green Lantern uh, comic itself and they started kind of running it in the Flash comic books. Got this Amazing Spider-Man 286. More recently we were at a rock show and I found this. I, I like to pick up old uh, Christmas issues and stuff. So got this DC Funny Stuff Stocking Stuffer comic book. And another Flash Green Lantern issue. And then of course I picked up some more just random Kyle Raynard books for my Green Lantern set. Um, but let's get to unboxing this Kickstarter box. Also a recent fun pickup is I got this Dragon Ball Super number 18 um, manga comic book. And this is kind of further in the storyline than the uh, cartoon is going right now. And I got the first appearance of Jessica Cruz and the Justice, Justice League number 31 from the New 52. And I got Speedy picked up Speedy for only five bucks on a Facebook uh, sale uh, which is pretty awesome so now I have Red Hood and Speedy now I just need a Starfire to make Red Hood and the Outlaws and then I got a new Indiana Jones Chronicles uh, sealed pack with a couple dollar trick-or-trade Pokemon so uh, save those for later see if anything's good in it Stack number one. Oh, no, missing stuff. Okay, let's go. Let's just start with this. This is the uh, the goodies, the extras that they send. All the unlock bonus material that you get when you get order these. Get all sorts of cool stuff involved. Cards. Looks like we got a pin. It's like a pin of one of the Lady Death Swords, which is pretty sweet. You got some trading cards. Of some of the different artists and covers that were involved. There's the uh, Eric, not Eric Larson, but uh, Rob Liefeld. That's Don McTeague. There, here's the Rob Liefeld. The Rob Liefeld action. Looks like a bonus sticker. It's like the regular cover. I got a, I forget who the artist is there. You got the bookmark, the live edition, with the big sticker. Monica Omens, and then these big art prints, or little little art prints, I guess you would say. 
Well, that's pretty cool homage to the original cover. Um, let's get on to the books that we got. Set this stuff down for a moment. Get kind of garbage out of the way. Let's get on to some comics. All right, so. Oh yeah, here's, this is the Chase Edition. I guess we'll save that too for the end to see uh, which one of the Chase Editions I got. Um, here is... Oh, this one still needs further opening, but let's see. This, this was a really thick book, so they're all kind of like mini graphic novels. Um, but there's some pretty sweet additions into this one. Um, Demonic Omens. I think this is the regular cover, but this one has foil on it. On the Lady Death thing. This one's pretty cool. This is a Mike DeBalfo um, foil edition. So it's got the foil flames on there, and that's pretty sweet. That's probably one of the ones that I will keep. Probably sell this one. Maybe sell this one. I might keep it. We will see. Set those down for a moment as we get into. This is the uh, David Nakayama DNA one. And we got two different versions of it. So you got the fire edition and the ice edition. So here's the fire edition. Dave Nakayama. It's actually really nice. And then uh, the ice edition. So I'll be selling one of those and keeping the others. We'll do a little bit of recoup on our money spent here. Before we do the mysteries, let's move on to the next package. Monica Omens Alive Edition. It's pretty sweet. I always liked it when they did Lady Death in a Alive Homage. There's the Odyssey Holofoil Edition. Pretty sweet. It's all holographic. Might be one I keep, might be one I sell. Here's the Lady Death Number One Homage Edition. A kind of cool new sword. It's the Don McTeague. I think this is a full metal. This is Don McTeague Full Metal Edition. Pretty awesome. Don always does a great job. I'll probably be selling that. And then here's Domic, Dynamic Omens Jeweled Edition. I don't know if you can see the jewels, but there's a little Swarovski's crystals scattered amongst here and there to kind of give it some extra effect. I don't know how well you can see that on here, but that's pretty cool either way. Probably end up selling that one. And here is the hardcover edition, Dynamic, Demonic Omens. <laughs> I keep on saying Dynamic. It's Dynamic, I swear it's not Dynamic, it's Demonic. But yeah, here's the hardcover edition. Pretty cool, bound in hardcover. And now we will get to the mysteries. Let's see. Sacrificial Annihilation, number one. Chase edition. We'll have to see which one we got. There's all these different color variations. Some are rarer than others. And drum roll, please. And we got the Chase Edition Violet, limited to 75. It's pretty cool, I guess. Not too upset about that. I guess it's not the rarest of them all, but. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Probably end up selling that one because I'm not super in love. I like it, I'm not super in love by any means. So, um, but I guess I'll save the best for last. Let's check out the mystery envelope. Let's see, I like the real ginger envelope because I still don't like to have the envelope as tacked as I can for whoever buys it for me. Let's see, the real ginger. Let's see, the real ginger. Let's see, the real ginger. I really hope I don't get one of those. I hope this isn't one of those. Please don't be one of those. And bump, bum, bum. Yeah. It's in Mark Owens Devil's Foe Edition. Limited to only 50. So it's not one of the ones that I really wanted, so I'll probably be selling that one to help recoup, but still, it's all right. I don't hate it. It's not one I love, but I don't hate it. Um, but yeah, so that does it for the Kickstarter box of Lady Death comic books, and I will see you on the next one. All right, back in the black holes. Looks like they're fully stocked. It's a bunch of cool shit. Squirrel girl. Everybody needs a squirrel girl. Same for Gogeta. I already got one of those. Let's have any more of the supers. Oh, they do have the baby. Of course, I already have a baby, but it's just kind of cool to see it up on the shelf. Vegeta. Some retro. Captain Kirk.
Goldberg, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I already got one of those. Some cool Wonder Woman dolly. Don't need a Wonder Woman dolly, but Stranger Things, Wicked Witch of the West, Funko Pop. It's kind of cool. Let's see what's this. Dragon Ball 4 pack. Bunch of different ones. Let's see. We got the Mark Hamill Joker. That's pretty sweet. Awesome to have him sign one of those. Batman, Christian Gordon. Sex for Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady. That's kind of cool. Uh, we got a Batman, Earth 2 Batman. Uh, Rat King. That's kind of cool looking. Motley Crue. Spawn. Yeah, this collectible section is actually pretty fully stocked for one. Gargoyles, Angela. Michael Myers. Oh, these are kind of cool looking. I haven't seen these. Different shredders. Kind of sweet looking. Uh, Days of the Future Past Wolverine. X-23 Wolverine. Transporter. Nope, that's She-Hulk. Jennifer and Abomination. That's kind of weird. It's like something we didn't need. Thor. Ghost Rider. It's kind of a cool Ghost Rider. I try to stay away from Funko Pops. That is kind of a cool one. That looks like we got Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Oh, it's a little ghost. That is kind of rad. I do like that. It comes with ghosts. I might have to just get that. Possibly. Let's see what else. A new Bo Katan because we needed more Bo Katan. Just getting a little played out in my mind. Let's see what else we can see. Um, Hocus Pocus figs. We got all three Sanderson sisters. What else am I missing? I feel like I'm skipping over stuff. Get more Red Lantern, Hal Jordan. I already got one of those. like some more. Let's see what else we got down here. Oh, they got the Super Saiyan 4 Goku that comes with cool accessories. Missed out on that. What's down here? Oh, they got the Gohan, a Gamma 1, Broly, Goku. Let's see more Gohan, Gamma 1, yeah, Broly, Goku. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah. Might have to get it just because it comes with the ghosts. That's uh, really sweet in my mind. Right, let's see if we can find anything else on the way out. Oh, and last but not least, there's a cool Hulk Hogan. That's pretty sweet. I always like seeing the Hulk out in the wild. Alright, third target of the day. Didn't record the last one because there's nothing going on there, but check stuff out here. The other one had the Spider Man spider shot. Not sure what that's about. Not familiar with him too much, but. I don't need one. As far as I'm concerned, you only need one Spider-Man. I don't need multiple Spider-Mans. Look at all these crazy Batmans. Why do we need so many Batmans? It's just ridiculous. I did see the last one. They had the blue Superman. I saw somebody had the red Superman in a video, but I've never seen it myself. Um, Steel, it's kind of cool. Steel, Batgirl. Gold label. Let's see what else. More Necron. I don't know if everybody got the Necron so late. Beast Wars. I don't know if they transform or not, but if they don't, that's real dumb. Transformers that don't transform. Not me. Let's see. Mario Kart's looking the same. Yeah, don't have any new ones these days that I don't have, but. Let's go to the other side so we see a Star Wars section. There's some He Man for my buddy Harold. You know, it's those He Man cartoon versions. Let's see. Let's see. Star Wars. I'm like, we need another Vader. Let's see, there's not enough Vaders in the world, huh? Let's see, there's Star Wars section. I have more of these Phantom Menace retros. Like Cool Ass Turtle. Um, 
Here's the He Man. As well, look, these guys are peg warming, peg warming Landos big time. Um, Dr. Rip Baker. Don't know who that is, but some of you might. Bonnie. Yeah, looks like they don't have those He Man cartoon ones here. Looks like the same old man at arms, Buzz Off. Or Beast Wars. Got these cheap Star Wars that nobody cares about. Imperial Shuttle, Ad At. Some Baby Yodas. Um, let's see anything else here. Last time I found this He Man. We're gonna end cap those. So maybe we'll find those on the end cap somewhere. Let's see what we can see. Pause till we get somewhere good. Alright, collect those. A cool little maybe Pac Man machine. ET action. Frankenstein, Halloween, Chucky. Let's see, I'm doing all these digital Funkos. It's kind of interesting, but nobody needs any of that. Not this guy. Flash Garden, more Motley Crue, Roger Rabbit, some Spawn stuff, Batman animated, some Rocksteady. Dragon Ball, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the deluxe one. And, uh, another baby. So here, Goku, some more Dragon Ball. And, uh, trunks now. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything at this one that I need. A little battering replica. These guys are still sitting on one. Grogu. Poe, Kung Fu Panda, Super Saiyan 4 Goku again. Yep, nothing different at this one than the other one. I guess we will say bye for now and I'll catch you on the next one.